Welcome to Chillopedia, this is Maxim. Today we are working on the Tsar etude number 30. This is quite a tricky etude. We will have to work on bow distribution, string crossings, and playing different notes on the different strings with the same finger without even moving it. Let's start with bow distribution. At the beginning, the Tsar is asking for us to stay in the upper part of the bow. You have to prepare the bow and start in the middle part and then move it to the tip of the bow and play two separate notes right there and then move back to the middle part of the bow. <laughs> Then, few measures later, you have crescendo, so you'll have gradually increase amount of the bow you are using. This way, you will spend more bow when you will be making up bow, bow stroke, and you will end up using the whole bow when you have to play forte. have to adjust it according to dynamics. The louder you have to play, the more bow you use, and when you play pianissima, you have to use as little bow as possible, preferably staying in the upper part of the bow. For instance, in the spot you have to play pianissima. Mm -hmm. string crossings. In this etude you will have to make a lot of string crossings. In every measure you go from one string to another and some measures require you to move from C string all the way to the A string, back and forth. You just have to remember to make sure that your wrist is flexible and when you move from one string to another you 
try to turn the ball accordingly. Not just moving it from the lowest strain to the highest strain, but adjusting this angle even so slightly. This requires very special attention. I would suggest to work on it after you learned how to use left hand here. And one more challenge here, playing different notes on different strings using the same finger. The example is the second measure of the second line. Here you have to play A and E with the first finger. In a slower tempo you might be able just to move the finger, first finger from the string to string. However, this kind of technique has several disadvantages. One of them is there will always be at least little break between the notes. It will be very hard to play them legato. And second disadvantage is that it will be very hard to play like this in faster tempo. The solution for this problem is to play the lower note using the tip of your finger and then just try to touch the next string with the inner part of the finger. So you don't use the tip of your finger for every note, but you try to bar several strings like that. It might feel quite weird at the beginning, but it is very useful technique. And it, it's getting much harder in this edit. For instance, the end of the second line of the second page. You have passage like this. have to play many notes without, without moving the first finger. And I would suggest you to try to play those spots just one note per ball and literally looking at your first finger and trying to figure out the best way to press on the next string without moving it without jumping from stream to stream. Try not just to play it with one note per bow, but just to play one little part back and forth. For instance, first two notes. You might feel that inner part of your finger will get sore. Well, then play something else, but then come back to this technique. Good news is that you will not have to use it very often in most of the pieces you'll have to play. But here and there it will become very useful technique for you to 
use. As I already mentioned, I believe it would be very helpful to work on this etude one note per ball. <laughs> When you feel confident enough, then work with original bowings, try to take care of bow distribution, but in a slower tempo. And let me play it for you in slower tempo, 8th note, 60. You might decide to play along with me, or it will just be helpful for you to see how I'm doing it with the right hand and how I'm using left hand technique barring several strings to play with the same finger.
Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you learned something interesting for you. And please come back for more videos on Chalopedia.